today's lesson is um, on finding angle measures and arc measures in circles when given a secant and a tangent line, as well as figuring, finding lengths of segments in circles when given a secant line and a tangent line. Um, you should all know what a tangent line is. A tangent line, remember, is if you have a circle, it's a line that touches the circle in only one place. A secant line is a line that goes through a circle, so all the way through. And it's an, um, a line where, as a chord, was a segment. So we're going to deal with lines that go all the way through circles in today's lesson. I have two examples shown here. Both examples have secants that run through them, through the circles. And again, secants are the lines. And as you can see, we're looking for some angle measures. We're looking for the angle measure on the inside of the circle. So in both of these situations, the secants are inside or intersect inside the circle. That's important um, because it has a specific property. The property when a secant intersects inside the circle is sort of like an average property. Meaning, if I'm going to solve this first problem, I want to find the measure of angle x. I can't just do half of 20, 123 because it's not an inscribed angle, and I couldn't do half of 61 because it's not an inscribed angle. Instead, I'm going to sum them together, sum means add, and then I'm going to take half of that sum. So 61 plus 123, add those together and take their sum. So we have one half of 184, and half of 184 is 92 degrees. So the measure of x, again, on the inside of the circle is half of the two measure, two arcs that it intercepts. We're going to use that same principle as we do the second example. Now, 135 is the angle that is inside the circle created by the two secants that intercept. So if we're using the same principle, this is the average of the outer two. So that means if I'm going to do that, I have to add the x, the outside one, outside arc, plus 130. That would be the sum of the arcs. And 135 has to equal, oops, 35, has to equal half of that sum. So you're just going to use some algebra, solve the problem, and move on to find your angle measure. So using my algebra, I multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the 1 half. Then I subtracted 130, and I found that the, ang or the arc excuse me, measurement of arc x is 140 degrees. Again, notice that in both of these cases, they're inside. They do not go through the center, so they are not central angles. They are just angles created by secants. In our second two examples, you notice that you have um, two other actually rays on here. Secants can also be um, just part of the line. You could extend them and make them lines if you want. Um, but you notice that the secants intersect outside of the circle. Again, that property is really important. So they intersect oops, act outside of the circle. When they intersect outside the circle, instead of finding their average, you notice that this number or this angle is much smaller. It's not an inscribed angle because, again, it's not inside, it's outside. So it can't be half of the 105, and it can't be half of 45. So an example where it intersects outside, to find angle 1, I'm actually going to call it x just to not get confused with numbers, to find the measurement of x, you're going to do almost the same thing where you do half, but this time it's the difference instead of the sum. So you subtract 140 or 45 from 105 and then divide that in half. So by plugging that in, you should get, um, I believe, 30 degrees for that angle measure. For the second example, again, it's intersecting outside of the circle. Outside is really important. The angle. This is always the angle. The angle measure is always half of the difference. So notice that 
53 is the angle measure, so it should be half of the difference of the arcs. So half the difference of the arc measurements. Again, you'll have to use some um, algebra, so multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the um, fraction. Then subtract your 220 from both sides. You'll get a negative 114 equals a negative y, which means positive y equals 114 degrees. So the arc measure for arc y is 114 degrees. So we just went through two properties on um, angles and arc measures created by secants. If they are outside, you're calculating the difference, and you should have a formula sheet or the slideshow that shows you that formula. If the secants intersect inside, then it's the sum and half of the sum. So inside is the plus or the sum of them. Outside is the difference. Okay, inside sum, outside difference.